Hi, this is the Ivy League Astrologer with the February 2015 prediction for Vedic Aries. So, let's see what's going on. Um, the first card out is the Four of Rods, which indicates some kind of victory or joy, um, some kind of coming together that maybe you've been working towards for a while. Um, hmm. Yeah, and it definitely has the feeling of getting closer to a home that you have wanted or dreamt of, um, that you've been aspiring to, of kind of being able to um, put down stakes a bit more and, uh, yeah, feel a bit more secure in where you are. Um, it looks like there's a lot of hope for this union or victory or whatever it is. Um, a lot of things that you want to build from it. <clears throat> and you may not know how to get there exactly right now. There may be some things blocking you um, from your kind of vision of this future. Some things from the past. So right now, kind of what you have is this present moment, this feeling of excitement in the present moment um, that you have a lot of hope for. Um, but you need to kind of work through the past to get to it and work through um, the blocks on the future, which seem related to the past. Um, I feel like you're going to be doing a lot of mental work on this issue this month, um, just expending a lot of mental energy, kind of, Thinking about, uh, I think partially mourning what has gone wrong in the past and thinking about how to get to the future. Right now it feels like it's very much sort of like a vision quest. Like you just are imaging this future that you want and through the strength of your desire for it, you're pulling it closer or you hope to be pulling it closer. Um... Yeah, I think there's still things you're going to have to deal with on your road to getting there. And I think you know that. But I think you're kind of trying to block those things out and really just focus on your perfect desire for this thing. Um, and that's like, that's going to water the, um, water the earth to make it be, <laughs> to, to find you a path to get to where you want to go. Is that really intense desire for it. But at the same time, you have to kind of take your time, go a little bit slow so that you don't burn out. I feel like that's kind of a threat here with the intensity of your desire. Like, it's going to happen. You're going to get there. Um, but there's a lot of things um, to kind of look to in the present or to be healed in the present before you can get to that place. And I think for a lot of you, this is going to be some kind of partnership or <coughs> some kind of union that brings together two things, two people, and that has, yeah, has you thinking of a bright future. Money may be a bit of an issue this month. Um... And somehow that affects your vision of this future. Like not being able to make enough money kind of makes you feel like you can't really get there. Or if some kind of source of money you were counting on is withdrawn <clears throat> or withheld for the moment, that kind of turns your plans upside down a bit. Yeah, it seems like right now there's some sort of natural barrier between you and this thing that you want. Um, but I think it's there for a reason. I think it's there to promote healing and to kind of help you to get to where you're going 
on the right schedule at the right time and with the right um, inner sense when you arrive there. Yeah, it looks like there's some rebirth that's going on. And you kind of need to attend to that right now before you forge ahead into the complete future idea of this thing. Um, <coughs> yeah, but I don't think you should let that, um, the disappointment of maybe not having the funds that you need or things not immediately falling into place. I don't think you should let that deter you from your goal. I don't think you should let that make you kind of look to other sources for this fulfillment that you're hoping for. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's really about diving into the past, kind of opening up all that has been hidden And giving it up to God is the phrase that's coming to mind. Um, just like, yeah, it's like you're unearthing this not so positive stuff or hidden agendas, hidden desires. Um, and maybe someone already kind of knows about them and is waiting for you to say what's going on. Yeah, but it's like in order to get to this vaulted, this vaunted space, you need to really deal with the particularities. You need to unburden yourself. You need to say everything that there is to say. And you need to let it go. You know, offer it up. And someone may be coming to you this month to offer up, you know, a uh, version of the past that you have already known about, but you've been waiting for them to come clean about, to tell you about. That maybe they've been acting as if they're too good for this thing to have been true at all, but you know it is true. So it looks like they might come out with that this month. Um, hmm. that may either cause a break, a separation in a relationship, like a breakup. Or it may be that the secret is relating to a past relationship. I think that's more strongly what it is, is that the secret that is coming out this month or that you're waiting on this month is related to a past relationship. Uh, it could be a past deal as well. Um, or things were kind of foggy or cloudy or just wasn't clear cut and maybe some things kind of cross the line and maybe you knew about this but you're only just but this person is only just now being honest with you about it I would say don't rush to judgment if someone is confessing something to you and if you're confessing something to someone this month I would say Maybe say what you need to say, but don't assume that you know the outcome of it. Don't assume that it means the end of a friendship, the end of a relationship. So don't go in like, 
guns blazing or a sword swinging with like, okay, I'm going to tell you this and then I'm going to cut it off. We're done now, you know, because I don't think that's the case. I think that it's a, there's a month where kind of forgiveness abounds or there's healing that's available. Um, there may be a period of time before that activates <laughs> where you're left feeling out in the cold or someone else is left feeling out in the cold waiting for your forgiveness, waiting for your approval, and maybe, you know, there's a while before you can kind of give it freely or before they can give it freely. Um, but there's a lot of hope. There's a lot of renewal going on this month. Um, there's bridges that can be built between people who have been separated or entities that have been separated. Yeah, and it's really built on a deep, strong foundation. So whatever is kind of coming up to get fixed this month, I think that it can be mended because what is underlying it is so strong, so deep, so powerful that you've come, you know, you've come apart maybe, or there's an issue that's come up that feels like it's unraveling things a bit, but it just needs time to be healed. This is a month for bridge building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like this is not a month to stand on pride or to try to win, you know? It's like you may within you be like, I don't know if I can forgive this. I don't know if I can live with this. Because what you did was so wrong, or somebody else may be feeling this about you, um, that like, you know, in order to salvage my pride, I just need to walk away from this. I just need to move on. Um, but that is not what's being recommended by the cards here. Um, it's, it says to go back in, to revisit it. And I think your intuition will be telling you this as well. Even though uh, people in your circle, people... Uh, your friends, your family, whatever, maybe like, yeah, no, just get out of there. Get out of there. What are you, what are you thinking? But I think this is not a time to do that. I think that this is a time to go back in and open it up for a full healing. Um, yeah, I think leaving is only going to leave you with uncertainties, um, with like all this stuff that's still active for you, like underneath it all. But like you've, you know, you've got your pride, you left, but then what, what else do you have? You know, it feels like in order to really get to the emotional heart of this, you need to um, go back in. <clears throat> Even if it feels a little heavy, but I think it ultimately it's going to be healing. Um, yeah, bring fresh water into this situation. Bring the perspective of the present into this past situation. Um, allow that things may have been wrong on both parts, on both sides. Um, but ask yourselves, how are you going to move forward? I feel like that's what's at stake. Like it's been slippery, it's been kind of shady even or something, or just kind of like overly fluid. But what's real is this emotion between you and someone else. And you need to figure out how to refill that. Yeah, I think really good things can grow out of past difficulties this month. Um, I see a lot of new growth out of old. And that, and that new growth being really sustaining for you. Uh, making you feel serene. Making you feel just more expansive, more far-reaching. Like you feel more capable 
and more just like beautiful, broad, open with this issue resolved. Okay. I also think that relationship issues are going to be taking up uh, definitely some of your time this month, but don't let that distract you from the larger course of your life as well. I mean, relationships are at the center of our lives, but it seems like <clears throat> whatever union you're working on trying to repair, it needs your energy, but it only needs a percentage of your energy. Whatever else... Um, that provides a sound footing for your life or a spiritual footing also really needs your attention this month. Um, it's almost like the more that you kind of have faith that this relationship thing is going to work out, the more attention you can give to the other things in your life and the more that this that the energy you do put into the relationship is going to work to bolster your life as a whole. So I think that it is a month for faith as well. I mean, every month is a month for faith, right? But um, I do think that that's going to help you. Just kind of knowing that you're doing enough for the relationship, but not letting it overwhelm you, not letting it take over the rest of your daily life, like the things that you need to do just to feel fit, to feel whole, to feel like you are serving the world. Those things are important also this month. Um, yeah, you can't spend too much time just thinking about what's been lost or how you did want it to proceed in the future, because that future is still there. But um, the way that you approach it needs to be a bit different. I know I was saying, yeah, I see you having like a lot of mental energy expended on this future. But I think this is where the need for temperance is also coming in. That, you know, you are going to want to spend time with that but you can't let it become a weight for you that uh, that um, kind of keeps you away from the rest of your life because that's, that's not going to be healthy. Also, if you have health issues going on this month, um, I think that treatment will be quickly available to get started on. So it's a good month to act on any health issues that you have so that you can get treatment as fast as possible. Um, yeah, I think you may end the month feeling a little cut off from your vision somehow. But I think that intuition is working heavily on your side um, like you just really have a sense of how things are going to work out and I think you need to stand by that even if it doesn't seem to be happening immediately right now even if other people are like I don't really see that going that way 
Um, I think you need to rely on your intuition. Which is more far-reaching, far-seeing right now. Yeah, even if the situation seems cut off. I think you will know that it's not. But it may be difficult to kind of stand your ground about your viewpoint. I would say kind of keep it to yourself, honestly. I mean... Yeah, you don't have to defend what you know in your bones. Um, if anything, just walk away from it. Well, not walk away from the thing you know, but walk away from people who are objecting. Um, I feel like you don't have to engage them. It's like you can just kind of walk parallel to them. Be like, I hear you. Okay, I'm doing my own thing, you know. Um, Yeah, keep walking into your vision of the future. Keep on your path. And yeah, I would say just don't confront people who want to be uh, giving you opposition about what you believe. Because it feels like a little bit of like a wait and see period. Or not even a wait and see period, but just it's not whatever you're waiting on which at the beginning of the month, I, I think it's the same thing, but it could be different for different people or could manifest in different ways. But I feel like it's the same thing that you're really excited about at the beginning of the month and you feel like, okay, here we are taking off. And then by the end of the month, you're kind of like, okay, but it's cut off for some reason. And what do I do now? Do I, I mean, was I just wrong all along? And I think the answer is no. I think it just is taking more time to unfold. And the signs of it unfolding are not going to be visible to the public at large. It's a weird phrase, but they're done. They're not going to be like readily visible. So I feel like you're really going to have to depend on your intuition and just kind of sit tight, nurture the other parts of your life. Um, I think that's why it was showing me like, you can't leave behind the parts of your life that are, um, it's like, it's not a time to like leave behind like the maintenance of, <clears throat> of how things work in your life. Like you can't overly focus on your relationship to the exclusion of your job or your kids or whatever, you know, it's really a time to make sure that like all the things in your life are working well together because this thing that you're waiting for is going to take a while to manifest. So you can't burn yourself out. Um, just obsessing about it kind of but yeah i think that just continue on your path and um you're going to feel good about that yeah i think there is a victory waiting for you so um okay hope that's helpful and yeah um i do personal readings if you want um to check that out um i've got information down below thanks so much have a good one bye